Hey Luke, Tom, Nate, and Rebecca here with the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel. And today we are eating cookies made from black walnuts that we harvested out of our yard. So we're going to show you how to shell and husk and harvest black walnuts and how to make some awesome uh, recipes out of them. All right, so this is a black walnut tree. You see how it's got kind of this uh, wrinkly bark here? And if you look up, it's got very distinct leaves. You can see it's got these green things that look kind of like tennis balls hanging from it. They're all over. And the walnuts, when they fall from the ground, they look like this. They're kind of these green balls that turn black and squishy. And they fall apart. And you can see here, there's the walnut, the hard nut we're used to eating, is in the middle. Yeah, go pick them up. Yeah, look at that. Put them in there. We got tons of them. They're everywhere. Black walnuts have this black sap that you can use to tan leather. It's caustic and it'll actually drive earthworms out of the ground. So if you want to collect earthworms, you can use tea made from the sap. And it'll stain your hands and it'll also kill vegetation. So if you have a bunch of black walnuts on the on your lawn like I do, you want to get them off anyways. Plus they, uh, they go crazy when the lawnmower hits them. So getting them off the lawn is good. And if you can eat them, that's just a bonus. Well, the tree has dropped about half of its walnuts and it's enough to fill up this entire bin, but it's mostly husks and leaves and stuff. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna remove the husks and leaves and chuck them off the edge of the lawn here and dump the actual walnut seeds into this bucket here. So we're gonna try to separate it. And most of the time they just squish right out. You can see it's kind of this soft husk, just comes right off. So leaves, husks, we're gonna chuck off. Now, don't wear good clothes and wear her gloves because this stuff will stain everything. Stain it black. Now, it smells kind of like wood varnish. Well, we got a five gallon bucket brimming full of these uh, wet nuts. So we need to sort out the good ones and the bad ones. We need to keep cleaning them off, get rid of all these little maggots that live in the husks. So. Here we go. Spread them out and let these suckers dry for a little while. Here we are guys, two months later. It's almost Christmas time and, and uh, these walnuts have been drying in the garage and they look like they are ready to eat. They're nice and clean. Um, not getting my hands that dirty. Uh, so you can see it's leaving a little bit of black powder. A little bit of uh, dust is coming off them, but not much. So let's break them open and get them shelled. Yeah, these walnuts are really tough. The shells on them are much thicker than domestic walnuts. Check this out. Look at that, how tough they are. Woo! There we go, got it. Oh, those do smell sweet. Okay, from one walnut, here's all the shells and here's all the meat. So as you can see, it's a lot less meat, a lot more shell than a, than a domestic walnut, which is pretty typical. I mean, all domestic fruits seem to be a little bit bigger, you know, than the wild stuff. But the smell is fantastic. So. Uh, I can't wait to try this. this. I mean, it just smells sweet is the best way to describe it. So we're gonna give this a taste. You wanna come over here and try it? Yeah. Okay, you wanna try some? I 
yeah. Here, try some, Tommy. Wow, it looks really hard. Mm -hmm. Hmm. The flavor is different. I mean, yeah, it is different. I don't like it. <laughs> you don't like it? It's okay. It's like a walnut flavor, but there's something else. There's stronger. Yeah, there's a definitely a stronger flavor. It's almost it's almost perfumey. I will stick the pizza. Well, there's a real trick to this. Just kind of tap, tap, tap. Oh, there you go. So you, can, you can feel it when it starts to crack, and then you want to stop. You don't want to blow it into smithereens. Just want to get it open. And then we can pick it clean inside where it's warm. Because it is 30 degrees right now. It's December and it is cold. I am super impressed that squirrels can chew these things open. Like seriously, these are these are hard shells. Well, I gotta tell you, having an anvil really helps and it spares the back. Uh, that I don't have to be bending over is really great. But you can do this on concrete or on a rock or any hard surface. Walnuts, man, these things are awesome. It took me a while to crack them open. I probably spent 40 minutes, 35 minutes uh, shelling walnuts. Um, but now I've got to pick the meat out and separate the meat from the shells. And it smells awesome. All right, guys, so let's get picking. And to pick the meat out, I've got a little shish kebab skewer here. Just a little long, skinny, pointy object to kind of go and pick stuff out of the shell. That's all you really need. All right, and I've got, of course, a bowl here to catch uh, the meat, and uh, we'll go from there. See what happens. You helping, Daddy? Oh no, my pick. Hi. Your, your fish is stuck. Your stick is stuck. Uh huh. This is a lot easier with uh, my little helper here. Hey, Tommy, you having fun? Mhm. Mm oh, I appreciate your help, buddy. You're good at getting the meat out of these uh, walnuts. Hey, take a look at this one. This one looks like a tooth. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> so using these uh, shish kebab sticks to pry out the meat is really helpful. I mean, a lot of it's kind of crumbled up a little bit. We still got some big chunks in here. It's working, working pretty good. Slow, tedious work though. Now, now, Tommy, if Grandpa was here, do you know what he would say? What? He would say, get off the table, Mabel. These two bits are for beer. Should we make walnut root cookies? Yes! Yeah, that sounds good. Well, we've got enough. We can make a lot of cookies. Holy mackerel, guys. Look at this. Look at this whole bowl of walnuts here. And I'm not even halfway through. That's a lot of nuts! Ah. Why don't you come here and help me pick out these little pieces, bud? I'm going to grab all of them. So here we are picking out the last little bits of meat and shells from the bottom of the basket. We're almost done. Well guys, it was a lot of work, but we did it. It took about six to eight hours to shell this big basket full of walnuts. And look at it, we've got about three pounds of shelled walnut meat. And it was very tedious, but it was also kind of relaxing and I got a binge watch X-Files, so that was kind of fun. Um, but uh, you like that? Mmm, that smells good. Do you like that? Does that smell good? Yeah, so now we've got to do some fun things with all of these walnuts that we've collected from our front yard. So I'm going to make some walnut oatmeal cookies and uh, I think that'll be a reward for my little boys for helping me out. Yeah, yeah does that sound good? You want some cookies? Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's do it. All right. Now three pounds of walnuts is a lot of walnuts. There's a lot of different things you could make with this. You could make black walnut pie banana nut bread, um, but I'm going to make some oatmeal, walnut, and raisin cookies here for the, for the boys. 
but uh, I'm gonna have a lot of leftovers and I'll probably just use those to, to sprinkle them on pancakes and oatmeal and put in muffins and things like that. At any rate, I'm gonna make some cookies and it does not have to be hard. I've got myself some of these uh, ready-made cookie mixes. I got some oatmeal cookies here. Uh, I'm gonna add the, the mix, some butter, some eggs, some a little bit of water, and then a load of walnuts and uh, some of these craisins, the cranberry ra uh, raisins. And uh, we're gonna make some cookies. All right, so once you got your batter mixing pretty well, just go ahead and add a bunch of craisins. All right, once you got the raisins mixed in, add your walnuts. Well, I did a double batch of oatmeal, walnut, raisin cookies, and I still have a ton of walnuts left over, which is just fine by me. I'm gonna sprinkle these on all sorts of fun things over the next few months. And uh, I'm gonna put them in the refrigerator because they have a, just a fabulous uh, a smell and flavor to them. And, and I wanna keep that as, as that fresh flavor as long as I can. So technically you could just put it in any sealed container, keep it at room temperature and it'll last a very long time that way as well. So, but at any rate, I'm gonna put my stash in the refrigerator. Well, check this out. I've got a massive pile of walnut shells. And uh, you know what I think I'm gonna do? I think I'm gonna save these and I might experiment with using them in my fish smoker. Um, they just smell fabulous. I love the, the, the smell of them and, and the size is just right for smoking. All right. <laughs> well, these are pretty good looking little cookies. I'll uh, let them cool and we're gonna tuck in. Let's give these a go. Let's see how these uh, how these taste. Do you like these cookies, Tommy? Mm -hmm. I really like them. They, normally, when you have like walnuts and cookies, they're just kind of a texture, but they don't have much of a flavor. These have a lot of flavor, and it's it they it makes the whole cookie taste like wild black walnuts, and it's really good. And I, I'm, it's, it's different than any food you can buy in the store. It's, it's awesome. Mm -hmm. Well, we got a ton of this. We still have like three pounds of walnuts. Mm -hmm. We barely put, barely put a dent in the walnuts. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video about harvesting black walnuts. If you want to see more videos like this from the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel, don't forget to... Quick subscribe! Mail it! That's right. Click subscribe and don't forget to click that bell button to get notifications because we put out new videos every week. Thanks for watching.